Hi friends, so this is Hannah. Welcome back to my channel. Oh, welcome if this is your first time here. Um, today I'm back with another dream tour. And I've actually been to this island before as well. That wasn't intended. I, um, I recorded an entire video of me touring this island and then I had issues with the audio that were unfixable. So I'm re-recording this, but that's okay because it's been a while since I recorded it and um, I don't have good memory, so I will probably rediscover everything again. So the island we're touring is called Moonacre by Michelle and she she describes her island theme as a fairy forest with with bookish corners and a little folklore and i thought that sounds so amazing and when i was there actually i really it really feels like a really special place so i'm really excited to show you there you can see the first stack of books <laughs> I don't know if you can hear, but it's currently raining where I am. It's very cozy. <laughs> and there's bones. So cute. Um, should we look at the map first? For the bulletin board, maybe? Oh, she locked her progress here, right? So, KK Slider's playing a gig here tomorrow. So that was when she reached three stars. Happy Bunny Day. The new Moon Acre coffee shop is almost complete. Oh, so nice. She made a coffee shop. And she achieved five stars with quarantines. <laughs> And Cafe must be her second character then that owns the cafe. Let's look at the map. Yeah, so there's Mish and Cafe. So I guess Cafe is... Well, Cafe. <laughs> and she has Bones, Zell, Gonzo, Kiki. I love Kiki so much. Chrissy, Kit Kat, Pico, Tipper, Fauna and Lily. So adorable. Wait, we haven't actually checked out the map. Let's do that. So she has a little crescent shaped pool up there. And I think. Oh, resident services is in a really interesting spot. I haven't seen anyone who has it up there. Actually, that's really <laughs> interesting. Anyway, um, maybe let's go to the right and then down and then work our way across to the left. I was noticing that she doesn't have any paths on her map so she's using I guess some form of the path. Oh I love this I love this idea of putting cliffs and then making them inaccessible but decorating them with furniture so if you had a ladder you could just climb up there and sit. <laughs> it's so cute. Here's Here's a little picnic spot on the beach. Pico is enjoying herself. Bone Saucer on his way around. I love these little custom designs. I remembered that from last time. That she had these really unique custom designs. I didn't see anyone use these. Here's a little honey shop, I guess, with a little Explanations where the different kind of honey is from. It's so cute. And the cooler. <laughs> I like that. And this is Kit Kat's house. I think it's really unique to see Kit Kat on a fairy core island. But I think it's really cute. <laughs> I love this house. It's so bold. This is a really pretty house. Tipper. Oh. Should have taken her just for hours. <laughs> so 
So this is like a little neighborhood area of hers. So here's a cafe or a bakery. I guess it's a bakery. And there is a mug with her map on it. <laughs> and here's like a gym on the beach. And this is like the cafe, right? With a music gig and that's the cash register. I really love the idea of using the typewriter as a cash register. Because we don't have a lot of furniture pieces, so we have to get creative. <gasps> I love this area so much. This is like a little bohemian... Let me take a picture. Um... Like a little pottery workshop on the beach. That's really nice. <gasps> and this is like a spa. I love this. I really love her ideas of how to decorate her beaches. It's really creative. And this is Kiki's house, right? And this... Chrissy. So cute. Oh, and this is her? She's really cute. <laughs> I love how like she uses hybrids and all these celestial furniture pieces to make it look so fairy core, fairy forest, you know? Gosh, the waterfalls are loud. Okay, where are we? Did we miss something? So we went down there. I guess we could go to the airport first. There's a little nook that we missed. Here's a lot of hybrid flowers. I love that. Oh, so here's like, here's her airport, and here's her map. And if you compare that, it actually does look like her map. You see, like the top river, and then it's here as well. This is so cool. <laughs> I love this. Um, yeah, let's go back here. Here's a picnic spot on the, on the cliff. And here's like a little bike rental. Can we, can we look at it from the beach? Oh yeah, we can. Oh, oh you can rent surfboards as well. And scooters and a tricycle. Oh, that's really cute. And look at this custom design with the little key and the mushrooms. Oh, and there's the moon. This is really amazing. I love this. Okay, let's let's head up here. And there was oh. here's another like a reading nook with a book and the tea set and a bear friend. Some balloons. It's really cozy and really cute with a different colored gingham. She has the black and the pink and the uh, blue one. It's really cute. I love this idea of mixing different colors of the same pattern. And here's like a newspaper newspaper stand. <gasps> so adorable. <sighs> I've been I've tried making a newspaper stand myself. I'm not really happy with it yet. But hers is really, really cute. And there's more of like the little lost glasses and fairy rings. Oh, this is so lovely. It's like a little flower farm or a garden on a cliff, you know? <laughs> so, so cute. And this is one of those market streets you see a lot. I is a market street. And I think it's so cute. Yeah, it's a little, she has a little raffle here, and then what's in there? I can't see it. But it looks good. <laughs> oh. I used to play this game so much in Pocket Camp. <laughs> I was really obsessed with it for a while. Oh no, I lost. It's a really cute market. I think it's just like such a cute idea because when you... Right, when you come from the airport... When 
When you come from the airport, this is like one of the areas that you'll meet and then you can shop local Moonacre products. It's so nice. Um, okay, left to us is Nook's Cranny and then there's the cafe, so let's go check them out. Oh, right, I remember this area. She like added more of a modern touch. That's also why the Market Street looks the way it does. She added more of a modern touch here, which I think is so amazing. So here's like a big kind of space in front of the next cranny and then back here as well. And here's a cozy little picnic spot. It's really cute. I mean, this is one of my favorite spots. <laughs> Bugs and the fish. Yes, I like it. <laughs> um, and back here is like the gas pump, the bench, and the snack machine. It's really nice. And then here's the cafe. And then when you go down here, it's the plaza again. And the market. <gasps> I love it when, like, areas really. And up there is her house. <laughs> I love it when areas really come together like this. Like, I really struggle with it. And up here's a hiking trail. Okay, but let's let's go to the cafe at first. Oh, this is nice. The obligatory cafe curtain wall. And then she used the den desk as a cafe counter. Hello, what can I get you today? Um, I'd like a cold brew, please. Okay. Wow, the sound effects. <laughs> this is really cool. Here you go, one cold brew for, um, can't think of a name right now but anyway <laughs> I love how she mixed and matched the different interior set sets like the natural and the antique and I think this is like the oh this is the iron garden chair and then this is really cute I love this mom's pen stand <laughs> this feels like a common room you know, in a, I don't know, in a school or in a university, wherever they have common rooms, I feel like they look like this. Or, yeah, it does with the, with the books and then the fireplace and the kicker table and the e-guitar and the TV. Like, it's obviously not just a library, you know? I love this. And the plaques. It's so cute. <laughs> See what the back room has. So it's a laundromat. Do you think she designed those clothes herself or or would we have found them then in the plaza with the terminal? Anywho, this is really nice. I love I love the little cluttered sock down here. Oh, this is like KK Hypnotic or something. I know this song. And you can you can sit down here to fix something as well. And here's some clothes. And everything is kept so really light and really fresh looking and like you can almost you know smell the detergent. <laughs> And I love this floor, it looks like it's a huge drain in the ground. <laughs> Honestly, if I had a room like this in my house, I would never leave it. <laughs> I love, like, doing the laundry is maybe my favorite household chore. Completely irrelevant, but yeah, it is. <laughs> 
So I really loved that room. This is like a bakery. It's also like a cafe, but it's more like a bakery. Oh, look at these really cute custom designs in the background. Oh, I'm currently still working on my bakery and this is giving me like a lot of inspiration. It's again the, it's like the podium and the den desk and then the, the wedding cake. Oh, so cute. And here's more books and the birthday cupcake. Do you think it was her birthday, birthday lately or did she get them from someone? Because I, I have to wait like a whole year since release to get my birthday my birthday cupcakes or celebrate my birthday in game but I really love this the birthday items so anyway this is such a cute room I love this tile and I really love how she used it with a uh, with this wall and this little house I don't know what it's supposed to represent if it's supposed to represent anything but I really love how it goes well with the color scheme like Everything is dark furniture and then really light um, and there's some light accents like like the menu sign and the, the table and then the cream and sugar, the book, you know, it's really cute, really cute. Mm, up or down, up or down. Let's go up first. <laughs> Oh, right. This is an interesting room, I think. I don't know. It's like a rooftop. But you can also like sleep and dream. Oh. Oh. So all of her rooms in this house are kind of like public use oriented. So she has a bakery and a cafe and a laundromat, a rooftop and a dim sum restaurant. That's what this is, right? I don't have it a lot, but oh, I miss it now. I miss going out for dinner with my friends. Oh, this is really nice. I love this. It's so cute. God, it makes me hungry. Let's let's leave again. <laughs> okay, then which way do we want to go now, or do I want to go? <laughs> um. So I think we can't. We could go to her house. Or let's do that at the end, and like let's go, let's go to the hiking trail now. Oh. Is it like a full time? Oh yeah. It's it's 10 a.m. for me, so apparently the clock still rings. Okay, so this is like a flower garden. Maybe it's... I love this, actually. I really love this idea of having like a flower garden and then the beehive next to it. Because, you know, like the bees are going to... I lack the vocabulary for this, but you know, <laughs> you know what I mean. Okay, so here's more of like a, yeah, here's like a hiking trail, but it looks so magical. It's, it started to rain again, maybe you can hear it. I kind of hope you do, because it's really cozy. Anyway, it's really magical with the, with the flower hybrids. I think the hyacinth hybrids are maybe the prettiest, and the pink moms. Maybe my favorite hybrids. <laughs> Everything is just so magical, and then I like also with this lighting, it's just so so pretty. And he has a little like Jacob's flower. I feel like I will never reach five stars because I love dropping items for decoration, and you're very limited in that. Look how magical everything looks, and he's like a tiny library where you can grab a book and just read. Honestly, I would love to live here. <laughs> this is Gonzo. I didn't know Gonzo had a cabin like that. That makes him really interesting for me. 
I love this. This is really nice. Yeah, it's just it's just magical. What can I say? I'm not good with words. But this is really really pretty. I love this design so much, and then the sign beware of the fairies. So cute. Oh, and it's Kiki. Oh, I love her. So I guess here's also like a map. Should you get lost on your hike? And a lot of more books. And you can write your own book if you get tired of reading. <laughs> I love this. And this is the end of the hiking trail. By the beginning, another tiny library. And maybe we should go up there to Lily's house and the campsite. And there's just like a hidden little house. So this is Lily's house. Oh, and down there there's a, a train station. You can go down here too. Oh, it's Pico's house. Pico's house is really nice. Like, I've had her for like a week or something because I've babysat her for a friend. And it's really unique, I think. It's really nice. It also isn't something that you would expect, I think, from her design at all because she's so pastel and then her house is bright red and her interior is also so bold. But I love that. So Lily lives near a little pond because she's a frog and it feels really, really serene, you know? Ugh. Wow. Here's the campsite. It's really nice. And the, the Nova lies everywhere in the... I wonder how it looks like with a tent up. But this is already really, really lovely. I love, I love those rivers and the terraforming she did. Incredible. I could never. <laughs> Let's go up here. Oh, it's a fairy circle with a moon. And um, like you can sit here and listen to a little piano concert and a harp concert. And then read a book back there. Everything is so peaceful here. There's some lost cutlery. Interesting. It's just everything is so peaceful. And here's some mini Nova lights. I think they're the star clocks, but turn around. <laughs> this is really cute. What's back here? Is there anything back here or is it just a little filler area? Okay, there's not really anything, but it's really lovely how she like, incorporates colors and like she uses a lot more flowers than I do, but everything still feels like very thought over. Thought thought out you know you know what i mean so let's go down there to the bottom half of the island like towards the museum and then let's see her house i just love this idea of how she decorated her beaches like this feels like a little experiment cam experiment office laboratory oh and this is like a little fairy tale um well or like a wishing well this is super cute <laughs> oh and it's like the giant Queen Alexandra's butterfly and the stone hand. There's so many to explore in this island, I feel like you can't really do it justice. I 
didn't know Zell's house looked like this. Oh, and this is Fauna's house, right? She put the two deer together. It's really cute. Yeah, this is like a box study area, and I really love how she decorated the um, the records box to look like a little cabinet with with the drawers. I really kind of want this custom design. So let's get to this side. So here's the museum, and there's more of like study areas here. More of like a spa with the bathtub in the hammocks. And the museum looks really I really love this. It's so minimal with like furniture, but it's a really really designed, you know, it's not just she really puts a lot of thought into into her design I feel. Here's another map of her island, and up here is like, I could be wrong, but it feels like cauliflower and what do you call it, red kale? Like because the mums kind of look like these two lettuces. I feel like I'm using words all wrong today, but you know, <laughs> days like this. I wonder if you can go up there. There's a little playground on the beach and like a, an ice bar. She's so cute. <laughs> oh, and this is how she decorates her pier. And a little telescope. You know, so you can look at the boats at the horizon. And who lives here all hidden away? Bones. I want the paw print door plate. I love, I love giving my villagers who have paws the paw print door plate. I think it's so cute. <laughs> but I feel like we can't go up to the to that farm. No, we can't. Okay. Um, let's go to the right and discover that part. Oh, here's more of the apiary, but it looks really overgrown. It's just so cute. I love this like misaligned two paths and then the weeds. More tiny libraries. And here's more of a cafe. It's so cozy just you know you're walking you're walking down here and then you can just make yourself some coffee. I wonder if it's like, if she sees it as like a self-service thing or if it's like supposed to look like like a service thing. I don't know. I like the idea of just walking down here, you make yourself a cup of coffee and then you can sit here and relax from your entire day of relaxing on this lovely island. Board game, more books. There's so many places to relax, it's really... I feel like you can tell that this is maybe a space that she created for herself to... You know, to really just wind down. Although it's a, oh, it's a digital space, but I guess... That's kind of what we need right now, all of us. Anyway, so you go up here... Oh, it's Lily! So adorable. But we can see her. You're too tiny, Lily. You're so teeny tiny. Um, right, there's Abel Sisters up here. And I think there was also a post office that we saw, saw earlier. Yeah, here it is. And she put both of her mailboxes here because she has two houses. That is really cute and really unique. I really love this custom design so much. I have to ask her for a code. And you can write a little letter here and then send it and here's like attempts of letters and and drafted that were just thrown away and scattered.
don't date your kids. Okay, um, so here's Abel sisters. Oh, and this is, is this like the wedding welcome sign, but customized to look like, like offers or anything? Like special offers or like ads? It's really cute. I also love this little, tr I don't know what you call it. I forget it. It's like a little windmill, you know? And it's so cute. I need to get more of these and put them all over my island, I think. I love this dress so much. This is so beautiful. Look at all these hybrids again and all these this deck of books, it's just so warm, everything, you know? Just from the design, everything is just really comfortable and comforting. These little boots here, just... Let's see if that was it, kind of. Or have we not, we haven't been over the swamp yet. I like to call it swamp. Maybe that's not what she intended it to be, but this little area with all these tiny islands. Here's bones again. And here, like some scattered shoes. Maybe someone just took off their shoes to walk around barefoot and then just forgot them there. little furnitures like the fossil or the lucky cat it's really cute everything here is so scenic like she really put a lot of thought into creating scenery and you can really tell I think Look at this! Wow! Okay, this doesn't work with me being on there. But this is really lovely. I love this. Maybe let's see her house now. Or did we miss anything else? No, let's go to her house. I just love so much about this island is how it's it's really magical and it's really she put a lot of thought into it and like the name moon acre if you think about it it's like she has all these celestial items and then also love like farm here's another train station it's so cute oh my god um and just these celestial items everywhere and the moon of course and then also like a lot of cottagey farm core items. And these little painting station. It's so cute. Just here's the oh this is like the moon shaped pond. It's really nice. The meteor the pagoda. Oh, this is the secret beach. Oh, oh my god, and up here it's like a pan shop. Oh, I can't believe I almost missed this. Look at this, it's lovely. I really want to have a pan shop now. This is so cute. It's really cute. And here's like a secret beach where...
treasure chest is such a cool item, honestly. Let's let's go up to her house now though. And this is her. <laughs> so she has a little spot out here where she can study bugs, do some 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 ceramics and pottery. And she has a little farm. Maybe this is where she also stores her turnips. I know there is a stargazing spot, I guess. And a picnic spot. <laughs> it's so cute. I'm sorry, Mish. Let's go in here. I've never seen anyone use, like, decorate their house exterior in this way. It looks really cute. Oh. This is such a lovely room, like, she really is really good at interior decorating, I think. Especially this this room, like, the, the whites of the wallpaper and the flooring and then the dark furniture for the, for everything else. Everything feels really natural and really cozy, but also very... Pristine and elegant. Wait, isn't that my hat? Wait a second, I think. Hold on. <laughs> Was that not my hat design? Oh my god! It is! That is really a cute surprise. Oh my gosh. I um I made some custom designs very early on, like clothes designs, and this hat was one of it. I'm so surprised. <laughs> it's really cute cute that she put it up. I I should get back into it. It was really fun actually. Okay, this is like a children's playroom. Oh, this is really cute. Everything is so pink and maybe it's like a little experimental kid court going on here, but it's so cute. I love this. Oh, it's maybe nursery. It's really cute. All these toys and like pink items and this. Oh, you see it? It's really lovely. And she kept it going with the light wallpaper and the dark furniture theme. I completely forget always that you can put off the socks and the and the shoes like this. Like it just looks so cute. And these custom designs that she uses, they all look so pretty. I'm in awe. Oh and her villager photos. I didn't know she had Deirdre and Flora. I like they moved out now obviously because we didn't see them and they're so cute. I love it when people put up their villager photos like this. I should do it too. But yeah, I haven't gotten around to it. And oh, this is such a cute I love the cabana furniture or rattan furniture. And the the little cow pattern on the on the stool. Yeah, I'm kind of I kind of get joy con drift every now and then. It's really frustrating. Let's go see the other rooms. Have we? We haven't been to this side yet. So this is the bathroom. It's really, really natural and really light themed. I love that. I love these. I love this bamboo shelf and like the zodiac furniture in here. It's really cute. <laughs> I think this bathroom just looks really, really warm. Like, really comforting. Like, when you come in here after a stressful day, you can just take a bath and never leave, you know. <laughs> Is this like a kitchen? I wonder what this is on the wall. If it's like a calendar. I maybe a lunar calendar? I have no idea. I don't know anything. Um, 
But everything is so light here. Is this maybe maybe rice down there and then a rice cooker? You know, the essentials for a cozy attic kitchen and a soup kettle. This is really cute. <laughs> This is also so warm, like she really makes her interior look so warm. Yeah. Amazing. <gasps> she has a greenhouse in her basement. Oh, wow, is this like the golden HHA trophy? Wow. <laughs> and she has like a little, like, maybe this is where she stores her turnips. This is like so cute, so unique. <laughs> oh, and this little badass garden gnome. Oh, and what's on this sign? Oh, it's the turnip sign. Yeah, so maybe she stores her turnips here so they won't affect her island rating. She can just, you can study plants in here. It's probably very humid. I love this place. Oh, I just got a little scared with her standing there. much for joining me in exploring Moonacre by Michelle. I found it was really such a lovely island. It was so inspiring. I loved exploring and discovering every single nook and cranny here or maybe not every single one because I feel like there is so much to explore. You could spend hours touring this island but we don't have hours of time but this was really really so inspiring really lovely i gained a ton of new ideas for my own island and it was just an honor to be able to tour this island <laughs> okay thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time please don't forget to like and subscribe this video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you.